All right, Ashton, got your fight gear today. Gonna yeah. get an exclusive uh, look at the fans. You wanna hand it to him, bro? So I think you're the designer, right? Hell yeah, the future is <laughs> right. Come you saw it already? I haven't seen it, no. This is my first time, first time checking it out. This is the first time the outfit gets revealed right now. Yeah. Uh, Let Ashton yeah. take a look at it first. Ooh, the king. Oh, that's only the top. That's only the top. Oh, okay. You think I'll take that, this off? Yeah. Okay. Trevor's gonna be doing the reveal. I'll be doing the reveal. Right <laughs> I'm here. I'm here for something. Man, we gotta get down. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Ooh. nice. The king bling dog as it should be. You got the Gucci lapel right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, oh I got, I got the me. Gucci lapel right there. Let me see if I can get a close look. Oh, mm -hmm. that's This clean. is a Swarovski, uh, Swarovski crystals. Yep. You asked yeah. for that? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I kind of give him my idea. Man. All right. And he does his JR Freaks this thing. Yeah. That's I know we had to get that shorts. black on black on the shorts. Yeah. It's Black Panther. Heck yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it yeah. is. Yeah, that's yeah. Side side, man. That's dope. Michael Mack. Mm, there we go. Uh, that's just hard as hell. It is. That's Man. beautiful. That's you know, we nice. also had to lace them up with that Gucci pipe yeah. in there. Yeah, let me get a quick zoom of the. Oh, that's clean. That's yes. clean. Yeah. The king that's right nice. there on the edge. Martin Luther King. Oh, we gotta get, yeah. yeah, I won't put some light on it right quick. It's nice. You got a phone? Yeah. yeah. Ashton, so tell us about the concept behind your uh, fight gear and. Um, What's going on with the Hello. everything? Oh. But this fight guard, just all of them in general. Mm -hmm. No, just this one. This like, one, you know, it's got a, uh, the MLK theme, mm -hmm. and I'm doing a, uh, a giveaway mm -hmm. for the for the event. This is. See, uh, yeah, so Sweet Stakes, there's a whole bunch of athletes involved. I know Terrell Owens is involved. There's a lot of famous right. basketball players. I'm, I'm good with boxing, so I don't know really the other sports, but uh, there's a lot of football names that I recognize. Mm. So he would probably know. But yeah, uh, yeah. TL was the one that I, I, you know, of course I know Terrell. Terrell Owens. Yeah, so. yeah, but he's giving away uh, um, a Sweet Stakes. Hit. I think you can find it. What's the? The Sweet Stakes, is, the link is in his uh, website. Oh, yeah, the, so yeah, oh, the, okay. Okay. the link's in yeah. his Oh, yeah, Instagram. it is. I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, It's an entry to 10 bucks for four entries. It's also yeah. King's birthday just passed. I mean, when it happened, he kind of, it was, like, to be honest with you, it was kind of almost like the universe. Uh, he, we, he said, hey, I'm really thinking about doing a King outfit. And then later on in that day, we had actually gotten a call about the King sweepstakes. So it just kind of fell together. Um, JR does all of, all, of his, all of his outfits from the beginning of his career. Um, he comes with everything, I, everything's hot. And so. I want to fight like the day of. Mm -hmm. And then do the theme, but I guess we couldn't afford to do it. But yeah, yeah. it's still kind of you know around the same time. Yeah, still, still yeah. Jr. So. This looks very nice and, and put together. It looks like a lot of hard work behind it. Tell us uh, the materials and, and and all the effort uh, you know behind making this lavish um, fight gear right here. So usually when I design for Ashton, I go really crazy psychotic with other designs. Now this one was more of a paying tribute to Martin Luther King, so I wanted to do a nice, clean, sleek. I mean, if you remember Martin Luther King, he was always in suits. Mm -hmm. He was always like very dressed, very gentleman-y, right? So mm -hmm. that's kind of how I wanted Ashton to look this time, is I wanted him to look like a professional, but like, we're in the future right now. You know what I mean? So obviously I had to kick it up a notch. And also I wanted to throw it off with a little bit of gray since the artwork in the back does have like a little bit of gray and a little bit of different colors in it. So that's where we threw in the Gucci to kind of throw it off a bit. Not only that, but obviously the Black Panther, you know what I mean? We, we had to mix that in there. That's dope, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. Not only that, but the matte black to kind of make the design pop out in the back as well. And then I wanted to throw it off with the holographic crocodile print because it's also a way, because if you look at it, the holographic is just going to make it pop even that much more. And it's my way of paying respect, and obviously I wanted to also bling them out. Mm -hmm. That's why we did the outfit like that. Look at you can see the holographic. It's nice. Print. Look at yeah. that. And it's just gonna make it pop. And yeah. Ashton always likes to, you know, stand out when he comes out. Obviously, mm -hmm. you've seen his other outfits, so we had to make sure he pops. And obviously, this is my way of paying respects. Also, with one of his uh, famous quotes, and I had to get a signature. Oh, what does on it say? There. Can you read it out? Read it out, Ashton. All right. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Mm -hmm. So this is more than just a fashion statement. It's it's it's, it's part of um, uh, uh, some like a life, a life, yeah. a life, a beliefs, righteousness, or whatever. It's just what does this mean to you? Putting all this together at such a young age, and then being able to put it in front of such a big platform with your fight. I mean, it means a lot, especially 
how he designed it too as well. I didn't expect it. Well, you know, he always do all my uh, outfits wonderful, but I didn't expect it to be so much like this. Like he kind of always surprised me every time. Mm -hmm. So every time that I get the outfit, it just like it gives me an extra uh, like motivation or confidence when I walk in the ring. Like uh, Deion Sanders said, if you look good, yeah, you play, play good. good. If they play good, they yeah. pay good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Emmanuel Stewart had a similar quote too. Yeah. Or I can't remember, but basically telling the fighters you gotta look good, you gotta feel good about yourself. I mean, I, I've seen when when Jr. delivers the outfit and Ashton, I've seen yeah. literally this guy light up when he puts it on. And uh, yeah. like my like my first outfit, uh, I remember like in the hotel room, like nobody was around. It was just me and uh, my buddy. And I just put the outfit on. Like, I put the whole gear on and just started. <laughs> You're ready, like, ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, Ryan Garcia was here like a few days ago. Um, a lot of news has been made about him potentially fighting Manny Pacquiao next. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? And if he told you anything, just keep that to yourself. But just your thoughts on the fight uh, itself. Uh, he ever uh, told me nothing like he uh, said about like Javante or anybody else. But I'm pretty sure that. Uh, uh, he'll still come out with the win, of course, and he knows what he's doing. Manny Pack, you like that fight, Trevor? Oh, uh, you know, I, I I love it. I mean, he's fighting another legend. Why wouldn't you want to fight Manny Pack? Y'all just have that on your resume. Yeah. You're, you're talking about a, a first round Hall of Famer and one of the greatest of his era. If first not. ballot. Yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, I mean, why wouldn't you fight him? He's a, he's a goddamn living legend. Walking around still with, it, you know, getting in the ring. Um, it's going to be a great fight. H hard to hard to pick a winner for me just because Manny always seems to surprise me. Um, it's like age hasn't hasn't caught up with him. It's like fine wine, but also kind of hard to, to to pick against that the young lion, which is which is Ryan Garcia. Mm -hmm. Typically, history gets made in fights like this, and passing in the guards happen. So uh, I'm just excited. Um, definitely excited to see Ryan around here. Uh, you know, Lawrence King's always around here. It's one big happy family. He makes Ryan's outfits, Canelo's outfits. So you know, just seeing that everybody's has that momentum that's moving forward. I mean, we're really excited, and I can't wait to watch it on TV. Ashton, what's your dream fight? I know you're just getting started, but that, fight, uh, if you could get that one guy in there, what is it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You haven't uh, thought about it? Yeah, I haven't thought about it. It's not uh, too many people like Pacquiao or like Floyd mm -hmm. or anybody else like that. Um, I don't think there's too many other Hall of Fames that when I'm getting to that stage, I don't think they'll be there anymore. So mm -hmm. Okay, sure. yeah. Maybe Ryan. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, Ashton. Uh, last thing for your fans, man, regarding uh, what you're trying to um, what you're trying to um, show them here with this suit and um, everything about your fight and what's next, man. Um, you no, know, what's next is me fighting on Saturday the 30th in Tijuana, the Big Punch Arena, with uh, me and my other fighters, and I'm just showing off this this art right here that JR. I got my own back. Tribute to Martin Luther King. Yeah. I mean, obviously the gym is very involved in, in the community locally. A lot of people don't know that. Um, Ivan's gotten an award from the city of Long Beach. I, I got an award from Gil Garcetti, uh, the mayor of LA. Oh, really? Yeah. That's crazy. So, um, you know, we painted the Black Lives Matter mural outside before you come in. That. That's nice. We're both pillars of the community. You know, we're happy that we got a young athlete here. This was this was Ash's idea. He's the one that said, "Hey, I want to do something for King." Um, that's incredible when you think about it because. There's so many people, you know, this is so organic. It wasn't, it's not some chorus, it's not for influence. This is where Ashton's heart is at. And actually see a young man like himself have that passion, especially knowing, you know, all the things that are coming in front of him. You know, yeah. it's really exciting to be part of this team. And most importantly, he's doing it now when he's just getting started. His voice and platform's only gonna get bigger. No knock to any of the athletes out there, but it took a lot of them a good 10, 15 years into their career to start talking about this. Right, right, absolutely. Some of them are probably, with all due respect, irrelevant. Right. When they were in their prime playing yeah. against Kobe, they weren't yeah. speaking up when they should have during right, that right. moment like in time. LeBron is obviously, like, he's pivotal in a lot of things that are mm -hmm. happening right now. And, you know, they people like Ashton, young guy, these, this generation is so much different than the generations before because they're willing to go out there and say, hey, listen, you know, I'm going to, this is a sports fight, he's going to do an MLK outfit, and I can't just, I don't know anybody else, and it's crazy when I think about it, that's done it in boxing before. Mm -hmm. And, he, you know, imagine all these stars, and, and I don't know buddy, anybody else that could have did it like JR either. Mm -hmm. So, you know, maybe this is why this is the moment. To, but to, to me, it really was an honor, though, Sorry, Rob, but to me it was an honor because I, I, before COVID, I used to speak at schools, and I follow a lot of his quotes, and just the fact that, you know, I... I got an opportunity to do something like this. To me, it was an honor. Like I said, I look up to Martin Luther King, and 
you know, what he stood for, and obviously a lot of his quotes, and I live by a lot of his quotes, so the fact that I got a chance to jump on a project like this, for me it was just a huge honor to do something like that, especially nowadays. Hopefully um, this sets an example for the athletes yeah. to do yeah. this much earlier in their career when they're in their prime, and people actually care what yeah. they got to say, you know, and, and not yeah. late when they're retired in the Hall of Fame or whatever, you know, yep. so... Um, props to Ashton for that. Tell the fans where to follow you on social media. You can follow me on Instagram at Ashton Silk H2O. Ashton Silk H2O. All right, cool. JR, you want to throw yours out there? Yeah, you can follow me on Instagram. I got my own back underscore fighter. Facebook, IGMOB X Fighter X or I got my own back dot com. Uh, uh, Twitter is also I got my own back, so you can definitely find me on. And follow Astro Promotions on Instagram. <laughs> All right, cool. Appreciate you. Uh -huh.